What's a good good example of a game that only ever had scripted fights? Oh! It was a first person sort of. Oh, was hey, a, we want that. It was a turn based first person shooter strategy game on the, um. on the GameCube. Mm hmm. And I don't remember the name of it. Uh. but it Scripted didn't have. First person shooter. What did yeah. the character look like? Uh. It was weird. You know, I actually really want to go back and play that game at some point. But, uh... I should probably just slash him. Unfortunately, I have no idea how to get demon fangs off of fish. Oh. Unfortunately, getting demon fangs with the, uh... with the beads kind of sucks. Oh, hi. <laughs> Thinking back to the cat statue, it just reminds me of the cash cat. We don't have that as our pink bank anymore. It's probably still with your parents though, right? Okay, fish requires a slash for fangs. I actually managed to get him to, to flip, it just didn't work so hot. But yeah, cash cat is still on my dresser at home, probably. <laughs> I think both the Tokyo and the Shanghai closed. They're done for, Mom said. Yeah. Well, they had cockroach issues. Oh, they hey. also weren't very good. Monkeys! Is that a giant turball? It's a boulder. Or a seed? It just has a weird ring around the middle. Maybe you have to bloom it? Yeah. No. Uh... Oh, I'm failing at the whole blooming thing. Maybe S or not. Huh. Maybe you have to bomb it. Or you have to roll it somewhere. There might be a place for you to drop that seed, like a hole in the ground? Or, what? You got a gourd? <laughs> I got a gourd from um, a thing somewhere. Yeah, I guess I'm supposed to roll it somewhere. I think you can feed monkeys just about anything. I got a ton of meat. I'm gonna be honest. I really don't actually feel like feeding you. Like, if all the things that I feed, monkeys probably rank the lowest. I mean... The buck's an asshole, and the deers are just creepy. Pigs rank pretty high on the list, and well, birds are just cute. You're just kind of there. I mean, do people eat monkey? I mean, I know they eat monkey brains in like a Indiana Jones movie, but like, what does a monkey even taste like? Wouldn't that come with like some amount of existential like <laughs> confusion? I mean, I guess not if I'm a wolf, but like if I'm a person playing a wolf in a video game and I eat a monkey, like, isn't that kind of like? Eating your own distant cousin? Like, screw you, Kevin, I'm gonna eat your thigh. <laughs> Tasty. Oh, hey, a bloom. Oh, Sleepy Bear, back where I entered the forest, wants it. Oh. Oh, is it? Infinity it, Stone. It would be a good ball for someone. Uh. Wait, 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 wait. look around the corner, please. Uh, go around the... Yeah, someone's over there. Well, yeah, this guy. We saw him ages ago. Just didn't do anything about it. Well, uh, now, now there's something you don't see every day. A white wolf. You just look like that Shiranui. Well, there used to be a lot of animals here in Nagata Forest. But they started to disappear when the number of monsters increased. Oh, listen to me. Now is hardly the time for that kind of chat. I'm gonna go back to hunting the rest of the animals. Well, there should be none left. Keep talking with him. Let's see what he has to say. Oh. Huh? I wonder what could have happened. I don't suppose you bumped into my son in the forest, did you? Narai River was flooded during the storm the other day, you see. The bridge to Kusa Village was completely washed away. I asked my son to get to work on building a new bridge, but, well, he's busy with that dog of his, and he just won't make it make a start. Oh. Um, so I told my ten-year-old to start working on a bridge the other day, and he's a... He's not doing a very good job of it. How's he get? I'll learn him someday. I'll learn him good. Seriously, telling your kid to work on a bridge? Uh huh. What kind of <laughs> butt lord are you? Oh, there's the well, there's the proper remember shop. Back in the old day. Oh, we have the ball there. Walnut right battle. Back 
in the old days, kids were... Probably by the time you hit 20, you were middle-aged. This is true. Like, 14 would be the, uh... I, I think 12 to 14 was like... Pretty much, yeah, when you hit puberty, you're considered an adult. Which is crazy town. I know. The world was harsh. People I, couldn't... I guess. ...idly sit and watch television... Makes and sense, ...play it, video games because you had to worry about keeping your house heated with timber and... ...and, uh... ...your belly fed with animals that you've hunted or tended to. You, you know what I mean? We... We have such a automized society, if you think about it. Yeah. Automated. Automated. Okay, I'm talking to this guy is kind of meaningless. Okay, do some shopping, buy some stuff, gold dust. Does that upgrade a weapon? Uh, yeah, looks like it could. Oh, you need herbs, definitely. You run into the most herbivores. Herbs. Uh, I'm never gonna have enough money for other things, but that's okay. Now that begs the question, do we say herbivores or herbivores? Herbivores. I think, yeah, herbivores. You almost never pronounce the Her H, unless, unless you're wrong. <laughs> and by that I mean British. <laughs> Herbs. <laughs> you just can't say it. You you try and pronounce the H and it's. <gasps> what do you mean? Herbs. I back in the day I used to say herbs. Herbs. I don't know. Now if you're talking about Herbert, now that's fine. Herbert. Yeah, that's that like a word. that's like Sherbert, Name, but I mean. uh, for ladies only. Ooh, this looks nice. Oh, oh. there's something to I'm just trying up. to find this bear. Wait, there's a sign. What does it say? To Shinsu oh, to Field. Shinsu Field. Oh, this is the top. Oh, okay. No bear, though. Somebody said... Uh, wait. There might be other beings around here. Yeah, well, there's also this. Oh. Wow, this water's crystal clear. A rather pretentious name, but probably not far off the mark. What does it say? Hit Hidoshio Spring. Hidoshio. I'm trying to make out what that means in Japanese. What is my walnut doing? It's sort of being buffeted by the wind. Yeah, it's having weird... Oh, the wind is pushing it along. That's why mm -hmm. it's still moving. Okay, well, somebody said there was a bear around here, but I haven't seen a bear yet. Uh, we really shouldn't be, like, looking at the chat too much. Yeah, but, like, if I can, if I can solve, uh, if I can solve a bear problem. Well, we'll find it when it comes around. Oh. Uh, and you still haven't found a way to bomb those nope. either. I mean, he could, no, this is a, this is a contaminated spot. You have to fill that in entirely. That worked. That worked. Oh. You have a singular bloom. Pulsating weird thing. Yeah. Incense burner. Designed to release a pleasant aroma. Like not farts. Which is pretty special in this universe, which is cursed unilaterally with bad farts. <laughs> By Orochi. Alright, so apparently the bear's down here. Whoa! Yep. This thing was not designed to roll off cliffs. It just immediately dropped down. Yeah. Dropped That's like kind of nuts. But yes, I know, I know you're not... What is this? Is this also? What? Yeah. Is that another object you can use as a ball? I guess so. Well, let's roll one of them up and see what happens. My assumption is he asks for multiple things. Um, there's a leaf pile, but we need the wind ability. Yeah, we still to... don't know what to do with that. 
Oh, oh, there he is. Oh, he is sleeping up there. Keep going. Trying. Without getting it off the cliff. Ooh, that's close. Oh, camera, 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 work with me. Oh, he's on an acorn, though. You would think that an acorn would be suitable, though. <laughs> Finally what? I think we broke it. Yep. Oh, you got to be kidding me. He went back to sleep. Burr. Boy, I sure wish I could sleep like that. Bear just farted belief in us. <laughs> Pure unadulterated faith faith farts. <laughs> So earlier, somebody showed up to the stream and had, had, uh, had, I think they're making a joke, but they, they saw the title of this and, uh, unfollowed because the title is, Who's a God Doggy? Because I misspelled good, but I don't feel like changing it back because, I mean, technically it's correct, either way. Well, also, Amaterasu is a God goddess. Doggy, yeah. I mean, I, I goofed on the spelling, but I'm not wrong. Oh, you mean the sun in the sky as opposed to making that bloom. Whoops. For bear farted faith, what do Orochi curse farts make? Uh... Yeah, no, it looks oh. like I'm gonna have to find some other... Some other special of dealing, ability. ...dealing with that. I was about to say a slingshot, then I realized I'm very wrong. What's... is that a windmill? Uh, what? Where? I don't know, there was a... I mean, there's a Tori gate over there, but let, let's go do the dungeon. Okay. I've been... I've been putting it off plenty. Doing a dungeon will be nice. Wait, did you feed these guys? Oh, I never fed these guys. Oh, they need to be fed. Now you have plenty of herbs. Seriously, they were lazy enough to only only make it so I'd feed in one of you. I mean, I've I've fed like full size boars, mini boars, right? Or have I just been feeding the biglets? I don't know. One way or another, I just I just feel kind of bad. Like this is this is like one of those those like forced misogyny situations where like you can't help but be kind of an asshole to one entire gender just because you know somebody didn't feel like modeling a a fawn eating. They've already got the fawn, all they have to do is wiggle the head and the mouth a little bit. Like, how lazy can you get? Do the piglets always eat? Or for I, the pig I groups? I want to say I've fed a full, full-sized full piggy before. But I could be wrong. Hmm. Because I always thought it was the piglets for the wild boars. I mean, would... we'll probably get the opportunity to feed more of them over the course of this game. All right. And he's... Wait, birdies! Right in front of him. Birds. 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 Get closer. Birds. Oh, no, they have to come back down. Birds. Birds. Bird, bird, bird. Bird, bird. Bird, 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 bird. Yes. Have you ever wondered what birds say when they tweet? I mean, they communicate clearly. I'm thinking they're just, like, straight up saying, like, whatever they're asking for. Be it food... Or just like, I'm hot. Look at me. Look at my plumage. Look at how sexy I am. I'm a sexy birdie. And they're just yelling that every day long. And we're all like, oh, think of how nice that song is. And, you know, no. No, in reality, it's just birds just talking smack at each other. Or smut. Or smack smut. I mean, it's like, really anything. They could be saying anything. They really could be. They also probably have alarms. For watch out, there's a hawk nearby. I'm a sexy hawk, hawk, hawk. <laughs> birds are fun. You like being able to feed the birds at the park. The ones that land in your hand. They're so adorable. Zoot to ruins. Whoa, that's an old statue. And there's sludge. Viscous purple sludge. 
and vines. That's a pretty oddly shaped statue. Look at all that moss. Must have been here for ages. What's up with that weird water? I don't think you want to go jumping in there, Furball. How about drawing some lily pads so that we can check it out? Can we look around the shoreline before we do lily pads? Yeah, easily. But first, saving. Have not, whoops. Have not saved in a little while. I wonder if it sets to be a different god every time or just the most recent god that we ran into. Wait, hmm? Oh, the background was the pig. Oh, maybe it's the most recent. You obtain enhancing divinity. So, stuff to probably look at at some point. Traveler's charm. Yep, protection know that. from danger. Okay. Now, those might... Oh no, those aren't bad. That's bad. Yay. There we go. Wasn't there like a weird pop, pseudo, not pop song, but like a popular song a little while back that was just nothing about, uh, about nothing but peaches? Peaches? I don't remember. Pe uh, we're going to the country. I'm gonna eat a lot of peaches. Oh. Yeah, it totally, there totally was a, like a pop-ish song. Do you want to slash that or grow it? Uh, well, it doesn't seem like growing it works. Slashing it just makes me feel like a jerk. I guess we get food out of it, but that doesn't really help. Hmm. Peaches by Presidents of the United States. <laughs> huh. Oh, that's a bad tree. Who are you to judge if it's a bad tree or not? Unfortunately, I'm immediately going to get hit. Oh, not quite yet. There we go. Rutabaga, Rutabaga, or Well, rutabaga. it's clearly possessed. It has all the little spirit wisps around it, and it's moving. What if it just prefers the term maligned? A maligned. That's a good one. Okay, now it's pissed off at me. Malevolent. We were watching the end of that movie in the gym, and I'm kind of glad I've never seen maleficent. that Maleficent. Sorry. It's like more or less the same thing. I'm just glad we didn't. I never saw that in theaters. Yeah, I think we. There's like this hyped up thing, library. but like, I don't know. Just something about Angelina Jolie has never uh, inspired confidence. Like she was. She always plays very serious characters. Sort of. Her lips always weirded me out. Like they were too big. <laughs> Even as a kid, I'd, I'd like would get weirded out by them. Still the dungeon? Yeah, so it is. It's amazing how many celebrity marriages and breakups there have been. Oh yeah, way too many. I remember... Uh, oh, and you can't jump up the... Yeah, I can. Probably. What? I remember watching a TV special a while back that was like... Ooh, can you go back onto those yeah. platforms? Uh, there was a... Oh. Hmm. There was a TV special a while back. I think I was on a plane. Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess maybe not TV, but it was like, you know, oh, I know how to get over there. Um, it was talking about how how great it was to be uh, Brad Pitt and his girl girlfriend or wife at the time. The, the lady from Friends, I think it was. Aniston. Jennifer yeah, Aniston. Jennifer Aniston. There we go. And so it was the, it's great to be Brad and Jen. And then the, uh, the follow-up video was it's good to be Brad and Angelina. Like they had both They had both episodes. They had both back episodes to back. back to back and I was just like this is very confusing. Uh because apparently they had made that and I think that episode or video or freaking whatever. I mean I don't even remember much about it they apart from They couldn't have the, been like even months apart. It had to be years. Well I, I bet they had actually made that like video. Uh, and then in process, or like as it was coming out, they broke up. And so they're like, well, let's just put it up anyway. Who cares? 
Thank you. I am aware that there's a thing up there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, uh, I can't seem to crane my head up, for I am a dog, and there's only, like, one dog breed that can look up properly. Which is? Uh, it's a type of... Shoot. I'd have to take a look at it. It was like a herding dog. Oh. Uh, but it... I think it can actually, like, raise its head to the point where it can, like, touch its back or something. Whoa! Yeah. And, like, it's a weird dog breed that, like... There was something about it. That's all I remember. A rock? I think you... What's up with this round stone? It's much heavier than it looks. It doesn't look like it'll budge, no matter how hard you push or pull it. Maybe you can use the cherry bomb or something on it? Maybe I can make it blossom! Poorly. <laughs> Uh-oh, that looks ominous. Whoa! Help! I've been wearing this plant for ages. It chafes like nobody's business. Huh. I can't hurt him. Uh oh. Maybe you have to flee battle. Or bomb him. Wait, it's only. Everything's. Oh, there we go. Okay, now look for a chance to use your Celestial Brush. Still, this thing sure got a tough bud. Wonder if you could open its bud before you attacked it. Great. Oh, that's what it is. It's an exposed interior. Oh, it might only be when it's vulnerable. Or, no, you, uh, not quite. It more or less kind of makes it... Do weird stuff? Oh, now you can get him. I yeah. think he's been stunned. They didn't gotta work, Ami. You have to open I, its I bud. I did open its bud, though. I told, wait. Well, now it's open. This got weird. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh well. Oh well. Nothing, nothing. I'm still hungry. Oh, it became crystallian? Crystalline. Crystallian. Like <laughs> reptilian. <but> crystal. <laughs> Sorry. Covered in crystal scales with crystalline. a crystal tongue and it's crystal blooded. Ugh. Oh. Huh. From what I can find, the dog breed is called the Norwegian Ludhound. Yeah, Lundhound. Yes, Lundhound. I believe that's it. It's a neat... It, the, like, weird uh, benefits to that breed alone are actually kind of Anything magic. interesting about those statues? Can you talk with them or hit them? Uh, oh, these? Yes. I can murder them for oranges. No, don't murder me. You, your pouch is already full. You don't need them. Vandalism. Oh, well, I suppose you got money and ink from those. Stupid booby statues. Give me your oranges. <laughs> Two of them. Shaving problems help <laughs> us. <laughs> you don't really know what that does. Yeah, I, I think it's you have to stun them first and then you can attack them. Because, oh. Yeah, they don't open up completely. Yeah. Unless they're stunned. There we go. Gonna put, put a bomb right in there. Okay. Now I'm probably that gonna run out of him. ink. Yeah, I'm mostly just trying to... Uh... Oh, you got one of them. Okay, there we go. 
Luckily, these guys are fairly easy to fight. You just have to slam a jam them with your abilities, like nobody's business. Ah, what? He hit a spike tail. Yeah, but he didn't. He didn't stay stunned for whatever reason. And they're slow. Yep. Now you can do that. Special move. Bud. Okay. Come on. I'm. Damn oh, it. slash him or. Yeah, I I keep mistiming it. Mhm. Mm Cause they have a lot of HP. So those containers are actually containers for souls. Yes. Whoa. I profit from their souls. <laughs> oh hey, a log. I'm ready for this log. Isn't this, this big log? Isn't this what Waka talked about? Yes, I'm ready for Waka's log. Wow, get a load of the size of those mushrooms. I kind of feel sorry for him though. It's so gloomy in here. I bet a little sunshine is all it would take to perk him up. Wait, mushrooms like sunshine? I thought they like cool, dry places. They generally do. Whoa. I don't know if that's Waka's log. <laughs> if that's Waka's log, I'm mildly disappointed. I, I, whoa, hey, that's something you can slash into. Is it a treasure? Oh yeah, people really want me to read the bestiary. I keep forgetting that that's actually a thing. Okay. And then I hit the YouTube comments and they're like, read the bestiary. And I'm like, I'll do it when I remember, which is never. Uh, bestiary. No, 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 and new. No. All right, green imp. Rude monkey-like creatures that harass and tease humans, whether frightening the locals or causing outbreaks of disease. These troublemakers have proven to be the bane of humanity. Said to hide in gloomy places, they're per portrayed as flautists. <laughs> okay. These red imp. The red imp. These loot players are harder to exercise than green imps. One night, a man heard loot music and went out to find the source. Hiding in the shadows, he saw the imp stop playing and drinking sake. Seeing his chance to attack, the man struck out severing the loot. Strings with his blade, the imps disappeared in a wisp of smoke. It is advisable to cut the strings with the brush. Hmm. Folklore has it that these imps never cease in their mischief. Yellow imp. Burrowing beneath the ground, they sound their mighty drums. The drums' vibrations shake the earth, jump to avoid this attack. Legends tell us to lure them from the ground and strike from behind. Though riddled with disease, they are often portrayed whimsically. These stories are meant to take them, uh, to make them seem less threatening. That's why they have the bumps on their heads, yeah. Bud a Ogre. Bud Ogre. Transformed by the foul force of Orochi, Easton describes this beast. Thusly. Four, um, I should do it in Easton's voice. <clears throat> Four mammal legs sprouting from a bud frightens travelers. The bud is rigid, but the fruit is soft. Open the bud to attack. Power slash deflect fruits, just like the cursed trees. Dead fish. The transformed spirit of a woman who threw herself into the sea. This demonic fish can fly by flapping its fins like wings. If you spot a fish carcass on the beach at night, it is recommended that you exercise the fin as if with a, with a powerful slash. Doing so knocks the fish to the ground and sends them packing. That poor woman. <laughs> Waka. This mysterious character is sometimes depicted as a Tao master. And sometimes as a loyal disciple. In any depiction, he always carries his sword, pillow talk, and has even raised his blade at Amaterasu. That battle was won by carefully knocking down Waka's thrown swords. <laughs> uh, not real. Funny name. joke. Funny joke. It was won by wailing on him repeatedly and dodging occasionally. Anything uh, on the opposite shore? Like a treasure chest or something? Nah. Easiest to find when I'm up high. Remember, draw distance is terrible in this game. Truth. Don't see it. Now, 
These look. Nope. Are they bombable? Uh, might be. They're just oddly colored rocks. They are. Well, huh. they're they're bombable, and I got a peach out of it. Mm, what? Not the best. But what? Well, let's get this one. You're hoping that it's going to be intermediary for one. for both? Probably not. Nah, it's hard. I destroyed the the uh, torch, though, which immediately revived for reasons. <laughs> there are tons of rocks around here. Well, we might have, like, a mid-boss or something coming up. Ah, upper level. How long are the dungeons? They can be extensive. I wouldn't necessarily call them... Legend of Zelda extensive, but okay. this is your first real dungeon. Aside from the mini one that was the first one we yeah. completed. Uh, Ami? Hold on a sec. Oh, left hand. My nose has felt all itchy since those huge mushrooms back there. Wait, since what? Oh, I see. He's just saying it since they bloomed. Ah? Uh, ah? Uh, Dang it. It's a bad time for my nose to be itchy. Especially since <laughs> we have the falling platform level section. Ah. Well. <gasps> oh, man. You jump forward. Thank I'm goodness. Good. I know how to play this game. Now, is this also going to be oh. falling? The answer is no. No, they... They are there. Oh, you know what? We're not going to be able to get in because we don't have a key. We don't have a key. It's, a, it's one of those boss locks. Hey, this door has some sort of weird lock on that's it. That's not a door. That's a creature. Hmm, that's no ordinary lock. I sense strong evil at work here. I don't here. sense it. I see it. <laughs> poke it in the eye. Oh, ew. It's ineffective. <laughs> Do you have to stick a key directly in its in eyeball? Eye, yes. Okay, let's I let's do. hop down to those statues and see if any of them I don't want to. Oh no. Oh, well, well, no falling damage. No falling damage. Oh, what's that? Something that you have to... Mark of the shield. Oh, it's the first door. 